How you doing guys? Thanks for joining me here on FTV Facts. I'm Leroy Kenton and now in this episode I'm answering a question that I didn't even know exists until some of you guys brought it up to me on Instagram as well as below in the comment section. By the way, follow me on Instagram guys. Link to that is down below. You can see what's going on outside of these FTD Facts videos as well as sending me messages. I'm always responding to them. But this question is why do Northeast Indians look different from other Indians? Now, India is a land of diversity and with many different kinds of people belonging to different races, cultures, and religions. So it is natural that people belonging to various different cultures would look differently. However, people from the northeastern part of India have a different look altogether. And why is that? Northeastern India comprises of eight states. We have Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram, Manipur, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Tripura, and Sikkim. Northeastern India shares its borders with Myanmar, Bhutan, China, Nepal, and Tibet. These countries are comprised of people from almost the same ethnic group. Even with that, there's a variety of ethnic groups that live there, mainly the Mongoloids, the Indo-Aryans, the Astroloids, or Austric, and the Dravidians. Now, let me pause there because I understand that in today's modern use, the term mongoloid is often used as a derogatory term and it's also used to insult people with a variety of different disabilities. However, for the sake of clarity as well as the integrity of the original use of the word, I'm using the term to relate to people in East Asia and Southeastern Asia. So no offense intended, I'm simply using the term how it was originally intended to be used. There's archaeological data that confirms that the mongoloid race used to live in parts of South Asia. During the Paleolithic age. In fact, some anthropologists see modern Chinese people as secondary descendants of Mongoloids. And since the people of northeastern India are also descendants of the Mongoloid people, you can see why all these races share familiar features. So while the original settlers in northeastern India were Mongoloids, the Indo-Aryan and other ethnic groups arrived later. And you can see that there's a huge dominance of Mongoloid elements in the population of northeastern India. Asia. In some ancient texts, the northeastern regions belonged to tribes who spoke languages from the tibeto burman family. Then in other parts of the northeast, there was a race of people who reached Myanmar from the Yunnan region of China and from there to Assam. The Mayetis tribe of Manipur state descended from the Tartars who migrated from China in the 13th to the 14th century. But examining all the groups of people that migrated to northeastern India would take forever. But in short, there are more than 200 very interesting tribes in northeastern India alone who at some point in history migrated from the neighboring countries of China, Myanmar, or Bhutan. And all of them came for various reasons, whether to look for fertile land or some sort of river or valley to conquer. Now, let's take a look at something pretty interesting and mind-blowing. Other than the racial differences, there are actually tribal and non-tribal dualities recognized by the constitution of India that give certain benefits to the many tribal communities in the northeastern parts of India. This was all set up to help them catch up with the rest of society in terms of educational standards and living standards. It's because of reasons like these that northeasterners are often non-recognized and misrecognized. They're also viewed by a large portion of the Indian population as being foreigners. Because when other residents of India see people from the Northeast, or even if a tourist sees people from the Northeast, the automatic assumption is, oh, they're foreigners maybe from China or Japan or Thailand or Nepal. And some label this as withholding the Indianness from the Northeastern Indian people. And that causes in many cases for them to be discriminated and marginalized. It's a very common problem for everyone here to ask us where, whether we are actually Indians. That is very normal. And I wouldn't say it is normal, but it is very common. So there you have it guys. I hope that answered your question on why there is such a big difference in the look of people from Northeastern India. If you enjoyed this video and thought it was interesting and educational, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up as well as support our sponsors, Grammarly.com. They're one of the leading softwares in improving your written English skills. They have a massive platform with hundreds of spelling and grammatical errors. And as you use it, it'll correct you. Yeah, you'll be surprised the amount of mistakes that you make every single day in English that you didn't even realize. So you can install it for free. The link to that is down below. Many FTD Facts viewers have already started using Grammarly.com because they see the benefit. So join them in their decision. The link is down below. You can also purchase the upgrade for even more features.
Hey, but don't go anywhere yet. We have some other videos for you to check out. If you want to learn more about India and the culture and history, check out our playlist specifically for our videos about India. Or if you're interested in learning about another part of the world, we have videos for that as well. Until next time, guys, stay educated and I'll see you real soon.